Hello, I saw your sign. Ah, a tired traveler in search of a peaceful sanctuary. I wouldn't go that far, but the idea of peaceful quiet is appealing to me. And what, may I ask, are you trying to get away from? The past. I don't think you've traveled far enough to lose your past. I can see you still have it in your eyes. So, can I have the room? <laughs> it was yours the moment you said hello. I'm Alice Diablo, but most people call me Mama Alice. I'm Gareth Freeman. Well, Mr. Freeman, let me take that for you. Do you have any more luggage? I never travel more than I can carry. Then let's be off so I can show you your new accommodations. And I shall try to provide you with what you desire. Are the accommodations to your liking? Yes. Already unpacked? My stars, Mr. Freeman, you pack unusually light for a man of your age. I travel a lot. May I ask what kind of work you do? Why not? I'm a database consultant. Basically, I fix the screw-ups that the white collar is too ignorant to have avoided. That sounds exciting. I suppose. I've been to a lot of places. But it must be lonely. But I see I'm wrong. Who is this handsome fellow? He's... I mean, he was my stepbrother, Mark. He died last year. How unfortunate. You must have been heartbroken. I had my work to keep my mind off all that. That sounds like shallow comfort. We weren't close towards the end anyhow. Mark had always been weak. He let the shrinks rule his life. They fed into his weakness and he ate it all up. Finally I had to say something and he took the coward's way out. Are you trying to say your stepbrother took his own life? Can we not talk about this? I came here because I wanted to move forward and forget about him. You can't hide forever, Mr. Freeman. Not from something like this. Eventually, you will have to confront it. We all must face the past, whether in life or in death. You sound like one of Mark's doctors. You said something about meals being included here. Um, when will dinner be ready? Within the hour. Oh, and feel free to come downstairs and keep me company. It's Halloween, after all. Soon the children will be out in their lovely little costumes. Okay, Mama Alice. Not your turn yet. Here are the young ones now. Oh, aren't you all just so adorable? Oh, aren't you just so precious? I could just eat you all up. <laughs> just love the little ones. I can tell. All the little ones know that their mama Alice will always have something sweet for them. Dinner will be ready momentarily. Fiddlesticks. Would you be a dear and answer that for me?
Aren't you a bit old for trick or treating? Beware, the time of judgment is at hand. <coughs> Mr. Freeman, what happened? Are you all right? He, he grabbed me, and that smell, he, he smelled like running fish, like, like, like running something. Things like this never used to happen in our quiet neighborhood. Goodness how times change. Maybe a little hot food will do the trick. I'm sorry, Mama Alice. I can't keep anything down. I can't get over the smell of that man, and I'd just like to go to my room and forget this ever happened. I'll bring you a cup of tea in a little while. It'll relax your nerves. All right, thanks. In there. She, she, she's, a, she's in there. Mr. Freeman, I need you to come in here and see something. If we are going to share this place, you will have to clean up after yourself. Behind there! She was behind there! She was there! Damn it, I'm not crazy! She was there! Mark! You're dead? Yes, very dead, thanks to you. It, it wasn't my fault, you were weak. I was manic depressive. I needed your love and support and all I got from you was criticism and disgust. Uh, no, no, you can't be here. You were weak, you killed yourself. I, I saw you hanging from a rope you tied with your own hands. <laughs> my goodness, your mind. It's scrambled, isn't it, bro? I overdosed. You're the one that hung himself. No. You can't run away this time, boy. Your peers are assembled and ready. But when being an insensitive host, it is your right to know those who would judge you. Judge me? Yes. <laughs> we must all be judged for our sins. Only if one is repentant may they move on. You should understand this concept by now, eh, Vinny? Was it worth losing your life? Over a street race? And what about the pregnant lady you hit? What about her unborn child? You had your whole life ahead of you, but you threw it all away because you couldn't choose between your fiancé and some construction worker you point a couple times. 
so you see your judges and peers. But I'm forgetting myself. We have one more judge. But you already know his story. Of the three of them, he is the only one who shows any hope of redemption. Damn it, Mark. You know I cared about you. I, I just couldn't handle your weakness. My weakness? My weakness? I had a mental disability! What was your excuse? Y you killed yourself over a job. A fucking job! You didn't learn a single thing from my death. Where were you when I was buried? I was out of the country. We have heard your words, Mr. Freeman. It is now time for you to be judged. Members of the damned, you've watched this person standing here before me awaiting judgment. Has he shown any remorse for his sins? Or is he unredeemable at this time? What is your judgment? I tried to warn you. <laughs> Look at it this way, bro. We'll have lots of time to work out our problems. Not that easy, boy. Welcome home to your very own corner of hell. No!